Welcome back our beloved viewer. Welcome back to this new chapter, we are glad you are here. The Book of Exodus, a significant chapter in the timeless series that spans from Genesis to Revelation, embarks on a meaningful journey through the pages of the Bible. As a crucial link in the narrative chain, Exodus contributes to the rich narrative of biblical history, exploring themes of liberation, faith, and divine intervention. Positioned as a sequel to the events recounted in Genesis, Exodus sets the stage for a compelling story that unfolds across the biblical landscape. This book invites readers to delve into the unfolding saga, witnessing the transformative journey of a people and the unfolding of God's divine plan. Exodus Chapter 1 from the NIV And this is the Word of God. Verse 1 These are the names of the sons of Israel who went to Egypt with Jacob, each with his family. Verse 2 Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah Verse 3 Issachar, Zebulun, and Benjamin. Verse 4. Dan and Naphtali, Gad and Asher. Verse 5. The descendants of Jacob numbered seventy in all, Joseph was already in Egypt. Verse 6. Now Joseph and all his brothers and all that generation died. Verse 7. But the Israelites were exceedingly fruitful, they multiplied greatly, increased in numbers and became so numerous that the land was filled with them. Verse 8. Then a new king, to whom Joseph meant nothing, came to power in Egypt. Verse 9. Look, he said to his people, the Israelites have become far too numerous for us. Verse 10. Come, we must deal shrewdly with them or they will become even more numerous and, if war breaks out, will join our enemies, fight against us and leave the country. Verse 11. So they put slave masters over them to oppress them with forced labor, and they built Pitham and Ramesses as store cities for Pharaoh. Verse 12. But the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread, so the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites. Verse 13. And worked them ruthlessly. Verse 14. They made their lives bitter with harsh labor in brick and mortar and with all kinds of work in the fields, in all their harsh labor the Egyptians worked them ruthlessly. Verse 15. The king of Egypt said to the Hebrew midwives, whose names were Shifra and Pua. Verse 16. When you are helping the Hebrew women during childbirth on the delivery stool, if you see that the baby is a boy, kill him, but if it is a girl, let her live. Verse 17. The midwives, however, feared God and did not do what the king of Egypt had told them to do, they let the boys live. Verse 18. Then the king of Egypt summoned the midwives and asked them, Why have you done this? Why have you let the boys live? Verse 19. The midwives answered Pharaoh, Hebrew women are not like Egyptian women, they are vigorous and give birth before the midwives arrive. Verse 20. So God was kind to the midwives and the people increased and became even more numerous. Verse 21. And because the midwives feared God, he gave them families of their own. Verse 22. Then Pharaoh gave this order to all his people, Every Hebrew boy that is born you must throw into the Nile, but let every girl live. This marks the end of Exodus chapter 1. Exodus chapter 1 begins by presenting a snapshot of the descendants of Jacob, Israel, who had migrated to Egypt. The chapter describes how they grew in number and became a formidable population, raising concerns among the Egyptian leadership. To curb their perceived threat, the Egyptians subjected the Israelites to harsh labor and oppression. Despite these hardships, the Israelites continued to multiply. The chapter also introduces the figure of Pharaoh, who plays a central role in the unfolding narrative. Fearing the rapid growth of the Israelites, Pharaoh issues a decree to the midwives, instructing them to kill all newborn Hebrew males. However, the midwives, fearing God, defy Pharaoh's order and spare the male infants. Key Themes 1. Oppression and Fear The chapter highlights the oppressive conditions faced by the Israelites in Egypt. 
their rapid population growth becomes a source of fear for the Egyptians, leading to the implementation of harsh measures to control them. This sets the stage for the broader theme of oppression that will continue throughout the Exodus narrative. 2. Divine Intervention The actions of the midwives, who choose to obey God rather than the command of Pharaoh, underscore the theme of divine intervention. This sets the tone for the overarching narrative of God's involvement in the liberation of the Israelites. 3. Faithfulness The midwives' faithfulness to God's command in the face of a powerful earthly ruler becomes a model for resistance against unjust authority. This theme of faithfulness amidst adversity becomes a recurring motif throughout the book. 4. Fulfillment of Prophecy The chapter alludes to God's promise to Abraham that his descendants would be strangers in a foreign land and would face oppression before being delivered, Genesis 15 verse 13. The events in Exodus 1 mark the beginning of the fulfillment of this prophecy. Exodus chapter 1 serves as an essential foundation for the broader Exodus narrative. It establishes the historical and social context of the Israelites' enslavement in Egypt, laying the groundwork for the subsequent events that lead to their liberation. The themes of oppression, divine intervention, and faithfulness introduced in this chapter will be further developed and expanded upon in the following chapters shaping the overall message of the book. Let us bow our heads and pray. Gracious and merciful God, as we reflect upon the pages of Exodus chapter 1, we come before you with hearts open to your wisdom and guidance. In the midst of the oppressive conditions faced by the Israelites, we acknowledge your sovereignty and faithfulness. Lord, we recognize the struggles of those who endured hardship and persecution. We lift up those who find themselves in situations of oppression, asking for your strength to sustain them. May they find solace in your promises and courage in the face of adversity. We pray for a world where justice prevails over injustice, where the cries of the oppressed are heard, and where your love and compassion reign supreme. Grant us the discernment to stand against oppression, inspired by the example of the midwives who, in fear of you, chose righteousness over compliance with unjust decrees. May your divine intervention be present in our lives and in the lives of those who suffer, bringing comfort to the afflicted and liberation to the oppressed. Help us to trust in your promises, even when circumstances seem dire, knowing that your plans are always for our welfare. Lord, as we embark on this journey through the pages of Exodus, let the lessons of faithfulness, resilience, and reliance on your providence resonate in our hearts. May we, like the midwives, be faithful to your commands, even when faced with worldly challenges. In your mercy, guide us through the chapters of life with the assurance that your hand is upon us. We offer this prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who embodies the ultimate liberation and redemption. Amen. As we journey through these pages, may the lessons of faith and God's providence resonate, inspiring us to face life's challenges with trust and hope. In the unfolding narrative, we anticipate discovering the fulfillment of God's promises and the triumph of His redemptive plan. See you in Exodus chapter 2. Blessings.